anyway. <laughs> the cases of women having a heart attack are not being diagnosed because the symptoms are not as obvious in a woman sometimes as in a man. Um, there's been quite a lot of anecdotal stuff from overseas on that. So knowing the symptoms could absolutely save your life. Comedian and singer Julia Grace the face is the face of the Kiwi Go Red for Women campaign. I'm wearing the lipstick tonight actually. Oh, fantastic. Not. Thank oh, you very sorry. much. Um, you didn't have a heart attack. No. Stick with us, people, or we'll become clear. Um, but you did have open heart surgery, didn't you? What happened to you? I did. When I was pregnant with my son, I was 31 years old, and they discovered I had a massive hole in my heart and needed, needed some major surgery. Ended up having it twice. Now, you went to a doctor as a teenager, and this is yeah. one of the concerns that, that perhaps GPs sometimes don't get it when women are having symptoms yeah. that, that they perhaps, even, perhaps would pick up on yes. in men. Um, so tell us about what happened when you went to your GP. Well, I actually went to my GP at 15, and I told him I was having palpitations, and um, he told me I was hot. So probably hot. Now, I'm, I'm 41, <laughs> meant, so meant different yeah, there, I know. Right? So if yeah. someone if someone told me that now, I'd sort of say maybe you know tell me a little bit more about that. Perhaps yeah. you could explain. But in those days, it kind of I just I felt like you know it just sort of shut me down, and I didn't know what else to say. So he thought you it was you were just the you temperature know, you know was was too high. Yeah, yeah. And who's going to argue with a doctor when you're 15 years old? Right? Exactly. I felt you know just kind of a bit silly, and and so I just kind of shut it down, and then never went any further with that. And so as my life went on, people would pick up a heart murmur but I would just sort of say oh it's nothing it's nothing until um, when I got much bigger symptoms they discovered this a massive hole. Does that American ad with the woman you know trying to make school lunches and saying no kids I'm fine I'm fine I'm just fine. <laughs> and does that resonate with you? Absolutely I think it resonates with every mother and every parent in fact um, and one of the things about women is that their signs of a heart attack can be what we call subtle signs so we've all seen the movies where you know the, it's kind of the executive of the man clutching in their chest having a big drama about it but I think something about women we tend to keep calm and carry on and just kind of that whole soldier on soldier on keep going but it could be happening. Do you, I, the thing that surprised me today when we were first told that we were doing this I would have put uh, I guess breast cancer ovarian cancer right at the top of the list this really yeah. surprised me why is it so low-key? I, um, I actually don't know why because it's the biggest killer of New Zealand women exactly. and it's you know there's seven women every day dying of heart disease do we massive. think of it maybe as an old guy's disease? Absolutely. Like an old man's disease? Well, when I was in hospital, because my, um, my condition was as a child, I was technically a child patient, but then I was in the adult ward, and it was just me and all these old men, and I'm sure they just thought I was one of the nurses and they were just sort of experimenting <laughs> on me. So but then they moved, it was weird. moved you to a starship. Yes. They? <laughs> yes, so they took me downstairs. So I was up there with all the old men, wondering what the heck's <laughs> going on, and then they took me down to starship to do my scans after the um, operation, because technically I was a child patient. So I lay on a bed which came to about three quarters of the way down my leg and I watched Shrek while they scanned me <laughs> with some lovely like Winnie the Pooh. Um, but it, was, it was very confusing. Bizarre. Confusing time. Um, <laughs> I suppose one of the things that uh, keeps us away from, from going get, getting checked up is our fear of what a heart check might mean. Is it yes. scary? Does it hurt? Very, What's very it simple. Like? Very, very simple. And in fact, your, your doctor, um, that, you know, that was a one-off situation where I felt like what I should have done was go to another doctor. I should have, um, I, I believe that if you think something's wrong, particularly for women, we're very intuitive, if you think something's wrong, it's highly possible that something is wrong. And so just go somewhere else. And a heart check is very simple. They're going to just test you. They're going to talk to you about your family history, test you simply. One last thing before we go. Um, did you know, guys, that, that broken heart syndrome mm. is, is, a, is a, it's a thing? You can die of a broken heart, can't is you? Is that true? Yeah. Wow. Like, well, you don't believe me. You mean if a partner <laughs> gonna, dies? They're not going to give us a demo. Yeah, it's called stress-induced cardiomyopathy. I need to read it off the paper to it's get really it right. Sad. Um, it can strike even if you're healthy, and it's a reaction to a massive shock. Yeah. Um, you know, death of men a partner and, or men break and up. Men and women. Yes. Uh, and e e even winning lotto mm. can be a good shock too. Absolute miracle that Taylor Swift's still walking. That's the case. <laughs>